Hi and happy new year. If you're new here, my name's Becky and I make sun catchers, sun catcher wall hangings and DIY kits. It is the 2nd of January, so a whole new year and I've got so much um, planned for this year that I'm excited about. The past few weeks have literally just been me trying to get all the orders out that you guys have been making. I had quite a few TikToks and Instagram posts do really really well so I have not been able to stop and also my son Loki has had chicken pox so I've been stuck in the house and um, so between like chamomile dabbing and playing cars and making your orders I've literally been non-stop. We had a little bit of sun yesterday so I managed to get a couple of reels of some of the new sun catches I've been making because I'm making a new collection um, and that I just absolutely love filming the sun catches it's one of my favorite things to do is like film the sun catches in the sunlight I just enjoy it so much um, so yeah the Christmas was just I mean the Christmas what I'm not a massive Christmas person I do enjoy it for my son mainly more than anything else like I love like his face on Christmas Day and like doing things with my son but other than that um, it's nice to see my family but sometimes it's just a little bit much I think Christmas <laughs> um, I don't know about what you think but yeah I just think it just we just do too much at Christmas like we just need to kind of chill with Christmas we put way too much pressure on ourselves to just have this perfect time and that is just not life so we've actually booked a holiday on the 16th of January, so it's the second today um, because we would much prefer doing that than something like Christmas, so I can't wait for that. Anyway, in this vlog it's going to be quite exciting because I think, it, I think this is something you guys are going to really want to see. So I'm going to make, let me just get it, I'm going to make a new sun catcher lamp. So I've got this one that I think I found this on eBay, I find them all in different places like charity shops and things and I found this one on eBay so I'm going to take all these out. Um, if anybody wants these by the way I might sell them in my shop uh, because I've had quite a few people ask about these inserts, these glass ones um, and I gave quite a few away to someone last time uh, so I'm, I'm probably going to put these in my shop. Everybody asks for them. I'd love to be able to like, I don't know, could you like resin them? and then put loads of like kind of beads on them. What do you think? Like tell me, because people might just like the original design on because they are pretty. Anyway, so I'm going to be basically making a sun catcher lamp and I'm going to be showing you some of the processes that I use and some of the techniques that I use to make it. I'm thinking that I might put a crystal in this one. So like in the middle kind of, maybe put a crystal sh somewhere in this, like inside it like almost where the lamp would sit, I'll put like a crystal there, maybe? I don't know, tell me what you think. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I will show you some of the techniques that I use. And I think that's all for now, so I'm just gonna show you some clips of me making this. watch the new Wonka film with Loki. The first time we've been out since the chicken pox because all these chicken pox have now, they've all scabbed over and they're starting to disappear which is really good. Well not disappear but they're just like you know when they start to shrink. I, I didn't know this before because I've never seen them before um, but yeah that's what they do. So I've just removed all them panels that you would have seen in the last clip. They're really easy to remove you just literally unscrew everything um, they're always really easy to remove. I never have any issues with them. So, as you can see, I'm thinking about adding a crystal to this one. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it. So my options are this um, pink amethyst, which I think 
Montgomery, and it's like, how far down do I do it? Do I do it a little bit peeking out? Do I, I just, I don't know. Um, or do I just use like a normal rose quartz in the middle of it? Or just a longer one here? Like I have quite a, quite a few of these, but these ones, this, this is the, um, the last one I've got of the pink amethyst spot. Yeah, I've never done one of these with a crystal in the middle before, so this is going to be a bit of a new one. So now I'm going to be adding all the chips and everything to the outsides of here. And I'm thinking of doing pink. I'm very, I'm thinking, I'm feeling very pink today, so I'm going to do pink. Um, so I'll get them chips. Um, I think I'm going to use larger and smaller ones. So these are like the larger kind of glass beads that I use. And then I have the smaller ones that I use. And I'm going to use a um, combination of both with like crystals in between. So I'll show you how I do that. But I thought I'd just talk to you guys about like where I'm going to go with the new creations this year. Because this is obviously a new year vlog. And this year I'm really wanting to focus on obviously every year I think it's the same I always want to focus on my DIY kits and my DIY tutorials and I'm going to try and bring a lot of like my making into my vlogs so like for instance when I'm making big pieces I want to kind of show you the process of how I do that in a lot of my vlogs um, and then also make a few new DIY tutorials for kits um as well and i really want to i really love youtube um and every year it's the same i always say i want to focus more on youtube and the tutorials that i do on youtube and uh, my tiktok and my instagram as well because i love making videos on them so yeah that is i, th I think that's literally all i want to focus on uh, other than like the main priority at the moment is obviously my health um, which I've decided tomorrow just to go to my doctors and try and get loads of blood tests done and things just to see where I am with that. 24 gauge wire, I think it's copper wire, yeah copper wire that is golden so it's got a golden coat to it basically. And I'm just going to add it to the top so the way I do it is it has these little metal lines that come down and I'm just gonna like kind of wrap they have little like little slits you can probably see then I can put that underneath and then when I've done that I'm gonna wrap round I'll show you in a minute. And then I'm going to wrap around the actual metal bar. Kind of like secure at the top now. Oh, let me just turn that light on there. So, it's secure at the top now. So, now I'm just going to start wrapping these beads on. I'm going to start with a small clear bead. Now the next day, um, and it is, I think it's the afternoon now, yeah, probably just past 12. I've just been to the doctors to do some blood tests and now um, I've been finishing off the lampshade so you probably just seen me finishing that off in the last few clips. We are actually waiting on some sun in the next few days so I'm planning on doing all my photos, um, all my like social media content and things like that. Photos for the listings that I'll be putting up because I'm, I want to have quite a, a big collection this time. Um, and I'm going to try and do some smaller ones which I need to order some crystals for 
Um, oh, battery's gonna go, so hopefully I'll be able to just video this bit. I am literally running out of stock of DIY kits, so I really need to get on to making up some more. Like, this is basically, well, I, I had some hoops made for my macrame kits the other day, because they keep selling out so fast. Macrame is like, I don't know why, the kits are just doing so well. Probably because of Christmas. Um, so yeah, I've got like my Moon and Star, Chakra, Saturn, Flower, Tink, but this is just quite a lot of kits that, like I've not got my Alanis ones in, my Chakra 5, my Ball, my Rain. Um, there's quite a few that have come out of stock and also I really want to get all the Driftwood kits back in stock. Uh, and also I need to like put away all my Christmas decorations up into the attic because they do not live in here, this is work stuff. At the moment I feel like I just, I don't know where to start. Um, so yeah, I really want to concentrate on doing the Suncatcher collection first and then I'm gonna, when Loki goes back to school on Monday, concentrate on doing DIY kits as much as I can and getting orders out, which to be honest with you I've been doing it every day just to keep that going. Um, I don't want people waiting for the kits. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. do the crystal for the middle of this. So I've picked pink amethyst because I think that's gonna look quite nice. I'm not sure what people are gonna think of this, but this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna wrap that in a bit of a thicker wire. I think this is 16, it'll be in my shop down below, but I think this is 16 gauge. Um, or 18. I'll link my Amazon storefront down below um, which will have like this wire in it um, and I'm thinking so I'm gonna use that to like wrap it which I'll show you guys how I do that and then I'm gonna use this stunning chain that I've got to link it to three different sections at the top so as you can see it's got like six little like holes at the top so I'm gonna I want it to sit in the middle oh god don't break it <laughs> sit in the middle and then have these kind of going from the center of it which is where I'll put a little hole, little hook kind of thing and then that'll kind of attach to three of them so then it fits in the center I'll show you what I mean later on but first, I just need to wrap this, uh, which I'll just get all of a meter. Um, I just keep dropping everything. Meter long wire. And then I'm gonna start wrapping it. I'll probably show you from up above because it's much easier. Now I've finished doing that, while you're wrapping the crystal, the pink amethyst, uh, I need to attach three lengths of this to the crystal and then attach it to this lamp. So I need to make sure that it has enough length on it. So I'm thinking, I really don't know if this is going to work because I've never done it before, so this could be a complete fail. So I'm thinking either a four, I think a five, I'll do a five gem piece so I count kind of the little crystals. Let me know down below if you want me to get these in my, on my website because I have had a couple of people before in the past ask for them but not recently. 
a jump loop at the top of this so one of my double jump loops now I'm thinking I might even have to make these a bit shorter if I do this we'll see sorry about all the noise I've got my husband off work today looking after well not off work he's at work but he's working from home I'm trying to keep my son entertained because it's his turn today because I have literally not had time to do any work because I've had to uh, be off work with Loki all week. His camp has cancelled, so I've been trying to entertain him as well as working. Um, so that's been fun. To be honest with you, it's been quite nice having him off school. So I'm adding all these now to this jump loop that I've had to add because the, the wire that I'd wrapped was a bit thick. That's why I've added that jump loop at the top because these little loops here were only just about fitting and I just don't think they would stick. Uh, they'd probably come loose if I just added them straight to that wire. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So now I've added the three. Them three take one of each off and just do it a four a four beaded length for each one now this is gonna be is it gonna work or not I don't know let's see oh. when you work with beads and wire everything is fiddly show you guys from it being hung. Oh my god, it looks amazing. I can't actually believe this, let me just try and show you. When the sun is on there, sorry I've just bought this light, Ooh, so, sorry to shine that in your eyes. Um, I bought this light off a TikTok shop, which is quite cool. Works really well. Um, just to show lights because when it's not, and then when it is, it's perfect, it's just a small. Well, I used to have like massive lights that, oh god, these take up so much space. Um, I've still got one of them in my garage, so yeah, I've got this light. Anyway, enough about that. It's worked so well, and I've even used a bit of this chain at the top, which is a lot stronger um, than my other chains, because that's gold-plated, that one. Um, and because there's three pieces, this chain seems to be holding really well as well, the beaded chain, because um, you have to be careful with chains when you've got such a heavy crystal on it, um, especially when you're sending orders out to people. I know I've, from trials, um, I have definitely had things break because the chain's not been quite strong enough, but now I, I, tr I try and use like stronger chains or I don't use as heavy crystals on the chains that are too weak, if that makes sense. But that's worked so well. Anyway, so now I need to kind of put some chains on the bottom. Let me put you down. Yeah, so now that's done, I need to add some kind of like prisms to the bottom now to reflect the light. But I'm so pleased with that. I'm gonna go for a walk first and take you along with me and then when we come back, I will pick some prisms to put on the bottom of it. Not, I'm, I'm not sure if I want tears or icicles or maybe I might do a small bowl prisms and icicles, I think. Yeah, I think I'm feeling that. It's like the small bowl prisms. Anyway, we'll talk about that when I get back. Let's go for a walk.
I've just got I've just got back from that walk and it's getting dark now. Um oh I'm running out of I'm running out of room on this camera so it's gonna go off in a minute. Anyway, I just thought I'd start filming a reel for TikTok and Instagram um, with the kind of design I'm going to use for the bottom of this. So I thought I'd share that with you. I'll quickly show you before my camera goes. So this is what it looks like. And then what I do is I start filming and I start pulling away all the bits and then I reverse it and it looks like I'm putting it down and it just it's so much easier. Uh, for me to do it that way, um, yeah, for my reels and things. So I'm going to do that. I'm trying to come up with lots of ideas for reels and TikToks because um, I really, really enjoy making the videos and I just really want to kind of up my game on them. It's now the next day. Yesterday, my memory ran out on my camera, so I had to abruptly stop. But I am just about to add these little sun catcher things to the bottom of this lamp so I'm putting these long ones kind of here I'll show you in a minute closer um, in between where the bars kind of come together and then in the middle I'm going to put one of them and then in between them I'm putting these tiny little droplets so I showed you yesterday, didn't I, like that I was doing the reel, so you would have seen how I'd like put them all together. So yeah, I'll show you um, putting that on now. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys something. Um, I wanted to get some new like clothes and things from going on holiday and also for the reels and TikToks that I make. I like to have um, like nice outfits. So I got this from Vinted because I've been looking online at, um, for things. And I just feel like at the minute, fashion isn't, what's in fashion isn't my fashion sense, so, like, it's just not my style. Yeah, I want to buy stuff that's basically second hand, so I've started buying on Vinted, and I got this stunning little dress. So it is quite short, so I need to try it on, because I am quite tall, um, and I just need to see if it fits properly, but how nice is this? It is from Light Before Dark, so I think this that's from Urban Outfitters. And I'm really, really loving it. I think that's going to look so nice in a video. So yeah, vintage. I'm a new vintage customer. I did, used to buy, I did used to purchase stuff on Depop, but I've never been a customer on vintage, so I'm looking forward to like getting some new stuff on there. So, I'll show you guys me making the rest of this, just now. seen in the last clip that I've finished the sun catcher lamp that um, I've been working on. I'm really really pleased with how it's turned out and I've done a couple of reels and a couple of, well I've not took pictures yet but I've done a couple of reels like in TikToks and things 
that I think are going to do really, really well because last time I did one that was this nice, they, the videos that I did, I got two that had over a million views, so hopefully they'll do really well. By the time I've put them up on Wednesday, hopefully they'll be doing really well. Um, and I've, I've took so many reels for this collection, so many, so many TikToks because I wanted to have enough footage for the next few days, um, weeks even, because I never feel like I do enough videos. <laughs> And I really enjoy, like, I, in fact, I sound like a broken record, but I really enjoy making the videos, so I just need to do them more. I'm going to show you quickly before I end this vlog. I've already shown you, but I'm just going to show you one more time. I am just so pleased with how it turned out. And this is going to be the start of me adding crystals to, sorry if you can hear, Loki, <laughs> um, to my lamps. So I will see you. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully that will be me finishing off all the listings and taking pictures and reels of all these. Um, hopefully making something new and amazing. Bye!